Hello everybody, welcome back to Space Engine. Today we have one goal. We're gonna try to find a planet that is better for life than Earth. Okay, so here's Earth, this is our home. So we're gonna try to look for something similar, but better, I don't know, what would make it better? I would say that the gravity being a little bit less than on Earth could be better. Whoa, these coastlines, look how like wavy these are. Sorry, I just get distracted by the beauty of our own planet. These mountains too. Um, so it is cool to see the procedurally generated ones because it's going to generate a lot more detail than on Earth. So let's just kind of zoom out and we'll start our search. Zoom out. So you can start to see the Milky Way right here. There's the center of the Milky Way. So we're going to just fly over here. Um, there's a nebula. That's cool. Okay, let's just click on some of these stars and you'll be able to see up here on the top. These are the planets in the system. So here's, an, uh, here's a water planet with rings. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Let's do realistic lighting. The rings on it are kind of weird looking. It's like a CD. And then this is its moon. So this is getting close to life. Whoa. Oh, oh hold on a second. This moon is actually really cool. Check that out. Okay, sorry, getting distracted. There's the planet. So this one is decent because, you know, it's got water and water is important for life. Um, clouds too. So how's like our gravity on it? It's 1.17 times Earth's gravity. So it's a little bit more than Earth, but not too much. Um, so that's definitely a good start. Let's, let's look at some of these other stars around here. Let's click on stars and then we'll just open its menu. And if we see anything that looks interesting, we can go fly next to it. This one looks like it's going to have some water, maybe. We can also turn off clouds and atmosphere. Oh, if you turn that off, it looks a lot sadder. The atmosphere really makes it look nice. So that one, that one's not as nice as I thought it was going to be. We'll go back out here and keep searching. Uh Oh, we got the blue circle. The game crashed. Okay, we're back. Where did it? Okay, this is we're still in the Milky Way. We're going to go right here and click and inspect okay none of these i mean eventually that one was cool i can't go back though <laughs> two binary gas giants what okay one's like smaller okay sorry i get distracted easily if you couldn't tell okay um let's open the star browser and we can actually set some filters so we're gonna want it to be with life multicellular life we'll just do that and then also have it be marine and terrestrial life so there's life in the oceans and on the land and we're going to set our search radius to 400 light years because that's like the max you can go and we're going to search so all of these systems that it's finding have life so then we can click on them and do the f2 thing and look at the planet oh whoa okay we're going to this one check this out it's a binary star system so we get some ambient lighting in the back here and look at that tiny little moon right there so small but let's go check this out um i wonder if this greenness is like green minerals or if it's plants okay so it looks like rock so it's actually the atmosphere is what's green that's cool so if we turn off the atmosphere this is the real color of the planet it's actually kind of disappointing it looks so like foresty from up here and then you realize it's really not okay so that one is we're getting closer but we're gonna go to our next one and see what this looks like oh here we go this one's got rings okay okay so we're gonna do this right away so it does look kind of sad okay wait these patches might actually have life on them these green areas oh look there's like a little lake here too so it looks like in certain areas of this planet you can get what you're looking for out of the atmosphere back and this looks pretty earth-like in this area so if we land down here is it grass yeah it is look i don't know why it's vibrating oh check that out that view get these rings going across here on this lake awesome there's our star there's one of its moons whoa you can actually see it moving so time is in real time right now and you can see i'm not moving the camera you can see my hands so that is, if you zoomed in enough, like on our moon too, you would be able to see it moving slowly across the sky. Actually pretty cool. Oh, we have clouds turned off. Let's see the clouds. Oh, we can see some clouds. But if you turn them off, it's like, you, it's like a nice blue sky day. And what's that there? Is that a star or another planet? Red dwarf star. So that's another star. So during the day, it looks like you can only see that moon and then the main star. 
Let's see. Where's the rest of the water? Are these rivers? Or are they just valleys? Oh, they're rivers. Okay, so there's probably life in these rivers and then on the land a little bit. So it looks like there are some bigger bodies of water. Like, how big is this really, though? It is pretty large. Like, if you were here, like, you can see that it's it's pretty big. So there, that's where I'm going to bet that most of the life lives. And what is over here? Are these mountain ranges? Very steep mountains. Look at this. Very interesting planet, actually, to explore. Like, these mountain ranges? Check that out. Load in. Load. Wow. You can get some beautiful views on this planet. Check it out. Get a sunset over the mountains. So is that a different moon? Oh, that's another planet in this system. You can see that one moving too. And that looks like a moon with water on it. Wait, pause time. <laughs> the way we can just zoom. Okay, I'm actually going to travel to this moon. And look, this is a moon of this gas giant, and it has water on it. Let's go look at this really quick. Go down right here. Some really cool mountain ranges. It's like red mountains. And this one doesn't have life, so it's all going to be like soil. Look at the view of that gas giant from here. You could, oh my goodness. And if you turn the atmosphere off, it'd be even cooler. Wow. Oh, this one has clouds too. We just turned them off. Very cool. Okay, let's go down some more and find one that's even better than Earth. Oh, here we go. Beautiful. This is a beautiful planet. Turn off the clouds in the atmosphere and see what it looks like. Okay, okay. Some interesting formations. Let's go look at it. It looks like whoa whoa like it's like ridge ridges down here look at that formation on the planet got a couple moons with the atmosphere it looks a lot more habitable but let's go down onto this planet it, it's, it's a very thick atmosphere it's like foggy so let's look at some of these statistics uh we can see that it's a breathable atmosphere but the pressure the atmosphere pressure is 32 times our atmosphere whoa is that like a crater so the pressure is going to be higher. It's got seven moons and it's also really warm. So it is good for life, just not human life, I would say. I definitely think life would develop here. Uh, whoa, look at this. I just like exploring around at, on these different planets. Um, so yeah, life would develop here, but I don't think humans would thrive here. So let's see what else we can find. I'm actually going to make the filters more strict to get even more Earth-like with our search. So we're actually going to do a temperate marine terra. And then we'll go any biome on that. Okay, now search. So these are going to be a lot harder to find. It did find one immediately. Let's see. Oh, this is the one we just saw. Is it? No, this looks separate. This is a new one. Whoa. It is cool. This got volcanoes on it. So we can actually see this ESI right here. This is the Earth Similarity Index, and it's at 94.2%. So that means this planet is 94.2% like Earth. So that is a good way to tell how good it is. But there are some things that it doesn't look for, like um, visually. And the atmosphere pressure is 70. So it's super thick atmosphere. It'd be really hard to breathe on. Wow. Okay. Is that the only one it found? Oh, it found two. Okay, let's look at the other one. Okay, and here's the other one that it's found near us. This one's a beautiful planet. You turn off the clouds and the atmosphere. Check it out. It's sort of like dark vegetation. I think this is still going to be vegetation, though. Whoa! It's like patterned. It's like red and green. Whoa! Okay, this is actually a really cool planet, and it's got like dunes okay so if it, you're really here it's gonna look more like this also a thick atmosphere at almost 20 times 20 times earth's atmosphere's pressure but you can see there's life down here these are like flowers and this is like grass so all of the redness there is a lot of redness and greenness it's all life so this actually is a really good contender 
and our Earth's similarity index is at 84, but that is only how similar it is to Earth. Um, so that, there's certain things that that doesn't take into account. One thing about this one is it's tidally locked. So that means that only one side ever sees the sun. So that's actually not great for life. So realistically, the best life is going to be around here. It's like between the light and the dark. So you're not burning or freezing to death. So I bet these rivers would be the most populated. Because if you like stand here, you're not going to get hit by the sun ever. But if you stand here, you're always going to be in sunlight. So you can kind of control when you're in the sun or not. And so your view is going to be in a constant sunset. Wow. Let's actually watch the planet go around the star. I want to see what we can see from here. You can see the time is actually going really fast. You can see those are the other planets actually moving around the star. But our sun view never changes because our planet's tidally locked. So no matter how fast we go, you can see now we're seeing the planet... Oh, what happened? Now we're seeing the planet go around the star. So each time this star like moves in this little circle, it's a whole year. So you can see that the sun's position will change a little bit and that's just due to the planet's tilt. But it is really cool to see the sunset technically on a tidally locked planet. These, this movement right here is the movement of it around the star, not the movement of it rotating. So this is a really good planet, but it's not better than Earth for life. So we got to keep searching. So let's fly to a new area. Let's actually go to a new galaxy and see what kind of life we can find there. So let's zoom all the way out. So all of these dots are going to be other galaxies. So let's fly over here a little ways and just click one and go to it. Here it is. Uh, that's a weird looking galaxy. We're going to fly in it and you'll see we'll start to see a bunch of stars. Look at the stars all around us. And then we can go to our star browser and do search for Earth-like planets like we just did. And then we will wait and see if any pop up. And if not, we'll go to a new spot. Okay, so we got one. So now let's see what's in this system now. So it's saying this is the most Earth-like planet within 400 light years of our position. And here it is. Check it out. Very beautiful ringed planet. Wow. There's a moon back here. Let's see what the actual surface looks like. So it's actually kind of gross looking, but the atmosphere and clouds help with that a lot. It would be cool to go land on the planet and see what the rings look like from the surface. So we're gonna go next to this river, I think. Go down here. Okay, so here's the view from the surface. You can actually see like the detail of this desert it looks like we're in. There's the rings. Here's the river in front of us. There's the star. Uh, clouds and where did that moon go I don't think it's in our view right now so this looks like its biggest moon mini Terra just like a little ball um, let's see the view of the planet from the moon that's one of my favorite things to see in space engine being able to look up from a moon and see the beauty of a whole planet like that and then just being able to zoom in and see certain details like it's crazy so let's play it in real time and see that's how fast it moves around check it out though like if you pause you can zoom in so far beautiful okay let's watch this over time and see what we get look at that that's like okay watch this cinematic masterpiece right here put like some epic space music and just like watch oh no no no, no. i have a better idea slow it down a little bit more oh wait what's going on there is that an eclipse i think it was like slow this down even more wait for everything to disappear and it's like like wallpaper engine totally that would be sick it's a cool planet view okay anyways so actually on reddit i found a planet that is probably the most earth-like planet i have seen on space engine ever okay i'm gonna pull it up really quick and i'll get back okay here it is so wow it's really cool like if you turn off the clouds you can see like the continent formation um is that like salt or ice? But it also has a moon that's similar to Earth. Check that out. This moon looks like Earth and this planet looks like Earth. This is one of the most Earth-like planets I've actually seen. The Earth similarity index according to Space Engines only 88.2%. But just the way it looks, like the colors and the like just the view of it is awesome. It's not tidally locked, so you will be able to see both sides. You can see like that. Let's go check it out. Let's zoom in on it. Slow down the time a little bit. We'll go real time. All right, where do we start with this? The land formations are crazy. Like these islands, like island trails. 
So the thing is, with planets like this, it can load more detail than Space Engine will load even on Earth because it can just make up whatever. So that gives it the freedom to generate really advanced detail everywhere. Like, look at this little area. We have, like, grass mixed with m minerals. Like, that's wild. But it's beautiful, too. And the way it, like... Is this sand? I assume it is. It sometimes it takes a minute to load in. But yeah, you can see, okay, it's like gravel rocks and it can load that super fine detail super well. And you can land anywhere on the planet, this huge planet. It's like all to scale, which is crazy. So this area looks like more brown-ish. Um, and this area is like more white. So let's go between the white and the brown and see what's going on. So here's the white area. It looks like it's white sand. It'll even load the shadows on the ridges of the sand. So this is all sand. It's like sandy, um, like sand dunes. Even like these different sand formations and stuff. And then this brown area is going to be, let's see, minerals, rock deposits. So it looks like, yeah, like rocky area. But it also merges into like this more dirt type thing and then we get the green areas which are actually going to be plants go land on it so just the landscape is so diverse you even get like different shades of green like right here i can count one two three shades of green and each one is gonna be like even zooming into this point it's gonna it's like wow the diversity of this planet is crazy and it's 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 grass grass how does there water if i zoom in far enough you zoom in on the grass enough there's water and then the dark green is more grass all right so if you guys have space engine and you actually want to go to this planet or any of the planets actually this thing right up here is the coordinates so all you have to do to get there is click this find object and then just type in exactly what it says right here and it will take you there. If you hit go to, it'll just take you right there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. The link to this Reddit post that has this planet will be in the description. So check that out. Leave suggestions for places to go in Space Engine or things to try, things to see, things to look for, anything like that. Put it down in the comments. You guys are awesome. I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.